what's this? Who was that monster I saw you with last night? That was no monster. That was my wife. Amazing! I can't believe my eye. If you'd let me do my own talking, I know better jokes than that. Was that the head talking? Why not? Your head talks, doesn't it? But you're a shrunken head. But when Milton pulled these strings, it loosened up my jaw. Now, if I only had a body to walk around in... We'll get one in the cemetery. Wait! I have a better idea. <laughs> Dusty, musty, and rusty. Come on. Now that I can walk, I'm going to find out who shrunk me. Oh, I can tell you that. It was Professor Rirdo's great-great-grandmother, shrinking Violet. So, where are you going? An eye for an eye and a head for a head. I'm going to make some shrinking solution and shrink yours. My monsters will protect me. Cowards, are you afraid of a suit of armor? No, we'd make any sacrifice to protect you. Yeah, so we'll sacrifice Milton. It's all right. I've decided I'll look good with a shrunken head. It will match my shrunken body. But please, I'd rather do it myself. Excuse me, but I get embarrassed when I take my hat off. <laughs> well, is it small enough? I'm satisfied. This is just a reducing glass. See? And Milton, the next time you do ventriloquism, don't use a shrunken head for a dummy. Oh, I won't. I've got a mummy for a dummy. See? When I pull this string... Hey! He loosened my jaw! I can talk again! Now to get the wise guy who mummified me! Smeardo, beardo, weirdo! That's it! I'm gonna mummify him! <laughs>